Welcome to part 2 guys of uh, this tutorial on button controlled uh, image rotator or a banner rotator. Okay, Guys in the previous tutorial I actually promised you that I'll explain the action script to you or I'll at least try and explain the action script to you. Um, I'm going to break the promise. Only to uh, compensate you by saying that in the previous tutorial I told you uh, that the script had been designed in such a manner that uh, whenever you add or delete a few pictures I'd use five pictures guys uh, what if you use three or maybe nine or ten pictures uh, I, I, I told you that we'll have to make uh, <coughs> certain alteration to the uh, action script but uh, then before I actually recorded uh, this tutorial I sat down and I thought that what good is a script which has to be adjusted according to uh, the number of pictures or the stage size. So I decided to make a uh, further uh, alteration or modification to the code which I have done. Now uh, the script fires perfectly without any alteration no matter how many pictures you use no matter what the size of the stage is. Now that's the good news but in doing so it became so complicated you know there was a lot of mathematics uh, involved there was a lot of logic involved so I'm gonna actually skip the uh, detailed explanation but I'm gonna just browse through the code uh, quickly and I'm gonna show you how even though I delete or add the pictures uh, it doesn't make a difference because the script is now a generalized skip, uh, script not a specific script for a specific number of pictures or a specific size of the stage okay first of all let me hit control enter just to refresh your memory how this uh, banner actually works so that's the right button second third fourth fifth picture and loose back to the first picture and uh, fifth fourth third second first fifth again anyway so beautifully cycling now let me show you what if I delete one picture so this this you know um, we have five uh, pictures adjacent to each other which I've clubbed together and may, uh, made uh, into a movie clip so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the movie clip okay I'm gonna click on the last picture I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say cut okay and uh, then let me go back to the stage so basically now what I've done is instead of using five pictures <coughs> I'm using just four. Let me hit Control Enter to see if uh, things are still working perfectly. So the second, the third, the fourth, and if I click here, it goes back to the first. So perfect. And uh, what about this button? Let's check. So here we go back to the fourth, the third, the second, the first, the fourth again. Beautiful. Let me delete one more picture. Let me double click on the movie clip uh, uh, called MC. Okay. Let me delete this picture as well. Let me say cut again okay let me go back to the main timeline let me hit control enter to see if it's actually made any difference to the things so um, second third four uh, first second third second first th third second first third beautiful so actually does not matter what the size of uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. How many numbers of pic uh, How many number of pictures you, you use? So whether you, uh, I, I just showed you with five pictures, with four pictures, now with three pictures, actually does not matter at all. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let me alter the stage as well. Okay, so let me hide the buttons layer. Let me lock it up. Let me hide the pictures layer. Let me lock it up. And here we have the stage. The st stage is 550 by 400. Let me drop down the size to so let's say 400 by uh, 300. Okay, I made the stage smaller, which also means I need to adjust the pictures too. <coughs> so let me open up the pictures, uh, unlock the layer, displayed. Let me double click. Okay, uh, which means I need to. Um, bring in all the pictures to the same size as the stage so let me click on the very first picture i'm gonna make it let me unlock this icon so 400 by 300 likewise with the second picture as well so that's a 400 by a 300 okay let's do the same with the third picture so 400 by 300 okay 
let me make sure that I align them properly as well uh, next to each other adjacent to each other so the X out here will be 400 okay and the X out here for the third picture will be 800 okay so what I have done so far is uh, I have not only reduced the size of the stage I have dropped the size of the pictures to match the size of the stage now let me go back to the main timeline and guys uh, have a look out here that uh, now the pictures not only match the size of the stage uh, initially if you remember there were five pictures now there are just three okay so let me uh, also make the buttons layer visible now let me hit control enter to test oh by the way I need to adjust the position of the buttons as well so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this button inside using the arrow keys right and uh, after which guys let me hit the alliance panel and let me click the button to align the button vertically centrally let me also click this button let me just drag it a little bit to the left hand side and then open up the alliance panel and again align it vertically centrally now I'm actually done okay let me hit control enter to test so second picture third picture first picture third picture second picture first picture cycling through beautifully guys absolutely wonderfully okay so guys as you can see uh, that I've reduced the number of pictures from 5 to 3 I've reduced the size of the stage from 550 by 400 to 400 by 300 and also adjusted the, uh, the size of the pictures and still um, it's working magically so basically now the script is adaptable to any number of pictures any size of the stage that's the good news okay uh, but as I said in doing so the script became a little complicated so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip the detailed explanation of the script <coughs> you see everywhere I've used stage dot stage width I've used stage dot stage width out here and I've used some complex formulas uh, something like MC dot width which MC is the movie clip dot width plus 50 minus stage uh, dot stage width into 2 okay so since it involves a lot of mathematics and uh, logic I'm gonna skip the explanation you can actually see that I've used the tween class guys I've used uh, the mouse click functions so guys I'm gonna wrap the tutorial saying that I'm not gonna go into the detail of explaining how the script actually works but I have made the script adaptable to any number of pictures any size of the stage that's the good news so I'll see you uh, you, you can actually download it from uh, http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads okay so make full use of it replace my pictures with your own and uh, enjoy so guys i hope to see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial could be dream viewer as well uh, you have a good day guys bye bye peace